We are just seven weeks away from flying over to the USA for the ultimate thrift trip holiday. 10 days, three states, and a bunch of thrift finds. And the good news is, I'll be bringing you along for the ride with me. Yep, you. Over the past nine weeks, we've been searching through local thrift stores to try and find items that we can sell for a profit on eBay to fund this USA trip. So welcome to week nine of the Thrift My Way to the USA video series. Let's dive into it, we'll see what we can find. Well guys, let's kick things off in the DVD section. I've been able to find this, It's Always Sunnier in Philadelphia DVD Bundle. We've got every single episode here and that turns into $65 pretty comfortably. I had to pay the 10, but I'm pretty happy to find it. I've also got this as well, the pair of Nike Air Max uh, women's casual shoes here. Really nice pair, $25, that's not scaring me. The condition of these is excellent, but I'll tell you what is scaring me. When I search the style code, I've got a different colorway pop up on Google and that was enough for me to go ahead and put them back onto the shelves. Always check your style codes, guys. I've got these as well. Never heard of this brand before. Rossi for $15. Have a look at the comps here, guys. You've got some over $100. Let me know if you've heard and purchased this brand before. I'll be definitely adding it to my bolo list. I've also found a stock standard staple polo shirt here. We've got the Adidas Genuine Merchandise Hawthorne Hawks AFL polo shirt. I'll turn this into about $25 to $30 in my sleep, guys. It's a good one to be finding. Make sure that you're looking for your footy merchandise. Bubblegum Shrimp Co. Santa Monica Pier. This one, again, we're talking genuine merchandise based on what I can see on that tag. Um, really nice little tag there. It's a jersey tag, size extra large. Um, that one should convert. I've also found this as well. I'm selling a lot of super dry uh, right now. And for $8, that one should convert into about 30 yet again. Just another stock standard staple item. So a couple of clothing items there. Uh, there was another one that I want to have a chat to you about. And that's this one here. A really nice Katmandu jacket. Obviously, Katmandu is a great brand. Make sure you're finding it. This one was in immaculate condition. And you know what? The op shop ladies also knew that as well. So they've gone ahead and hemorrhaged the price of $40. I can't be doing that. Really stoked to find some video games here as well, guys. Star Force, uh, Star Wars Force Unleashed. Uh, we've got another Star Wars complete saga game there. Uh, a Wii Sports Resort. There were actually some crackers in here and then Great Dinosaur Rescue. All of these turn into about 50 profit. Now, guys, you may have remembered in last week's episode, we had a pair of Nike Air Max ones as a bit of a giveaway. And I'm pleased to report that the winner of those shoes is Emma Rach Mum. Congratulations, Emma. Unreal result. And thank you very much for your support of the channel. We're going to be running another giveaway in today's video. And I've actually just picked up this Kevin Durant Brooklyn jersey. And I think that's pretty sweet, to be honest with you. It's a size small. I reckon you'll be able to turn it into about $40 or $50. So completely genuine, awesome little giveaway there. All you need to do is comment the word Brooklyn to be in the draw. You need to like the video and you need to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Uh, we're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers before we head over to the US in seven weeks. So do those three things. You'll be in the draw to win the Brooklyn jersey. And congratulations to Emma. Those MX ones are on their way. Geez, I was excited to see this. DVDs, CDs, five for a dollar. And you wouldn't believe it. We found the 1966 grand final for the St Kilda Footy Club. Believe it or not, the last time they won a flag. If you're after a bolo DVD, I've got King of the Hill, the complete first season. Goes for about $22.50, which I was absolutely wrapped to see. So I've gone ahead and picked that up. Guys, remember, every DVD that I'm buying here is just 20 cents a piece. So you can't go wrong. 13 Ghosts. Goes for about $15. Thanks very much. I'll take that one away with me as well. We just need one more to complete the set of five, and I ended up grabbing Unhinged with Russell Crowe. Goes for about $10. So, guys, not too bad there. A great little DVD grab and a couple of VHSs as well. Instagram viewer poll question time. I've got this one here for $25. It's a Tommy Bahama full zip-up sweater. You guys know I love Tommy Bahama, but would you pay $25? to get your hands on this one. I'd love to know. I've also found this as well. Public service announcement. Reese sells on eBay. $3 for this one. Goes into about $22. I think I'm going to be able to sell both of them for about $22. And that will be a fantastic result. I've also found some shoes here as well, just hiding in the uh, in the counter. You can always find the best stuff if you look behind the counter. And this lady here had a really nice pair of shoes for me. We're talking a pair of Nike Shocks, guys. And if you've ever found a pair of Shocks, you'll know that those American comps that I'm showing you over there. They're actually pretty legitimate. This shoe will go for about $100 in pre-owned condition. The condition of this one here, well, it's pretty damn good to be honest with you, and I'm paying the $25. 
So a size US 10 and a half on this bad boy should be able to make $100 from it. So I'm pretty stoked about that. Hey, now let me know, any Jersey enthusiasts, any soccer fans out there, any Chelsea Football Club fans out there, let me know what your thoughts are on this Umbro jersey. The comps on eBay, I already knew were gonna be pretty good and they certainly are. We're talking upwards of 80 to 100. If I've got the right jersey, that I don't know. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below about this one. Regardless, I bought it because it was just the $2. All right, guys, we had an Instagram viewer poll question in there around the Tommy Bahama sweater. And I uh, wasn't too sure on the price point at 25 bucks. Seems to be a little bit steep for me. Although Tommy Bahama obviously is such a really good brand. But uh, yeah, you guys said to go ahead and drop it. And that's what I did. I just don't think there's enough profit in there at 25 bucks. 15 to $20, I probably would have purchased it. Uh, but not at 25. So we keep charging on. Let's see what else we can find. Well guys, it's the second Instagram viewer poll question of the day here. I've got a Kathmandu pack and go sweater. It's a size large, it's $20 as you can see. I love the brand, but I don't know if I love the price point. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on that one. I found a Brisbane line. Uh, this is an AFLW Premier's tee, so the Women's League. Um, it was brand new with tags though, correct branding there with cotton on. So for seven bucks, I should be able to turn that one into about 30 bucks free postage yet again for my clothing items. I love a big box of DVDs and CDs, guys. I had a bit of a playthrough here, and I've been able to find this WrestleMania. Came in the steel case, WrestleMania number 23, for $4. I should be able to turn this one into about 25 bucks, and it even had a little souvenir photo in there as well, which looked kind of cool. So, uh, should be some money coming with this one here. Now, this one, look, $5 for a brand new Blu-ray. It's not the best, but the final season, I always look for the final seasons of TV shows, so that should do well. Look at this here, guys. It, it, this will absolutely make your day if you're a shoe reseller. I've found a pair of ASICS Gel Keanu 21s. The yellow colorway is talking to me here, guys. Those should turn into about $80, I dare say, because the soles are in pretty decent condition. The price point is not too bad either. Have a look at this. We've also got the ASICS GT 2000. These are the eights, and they are the Tokyo editions as well for 20 bucks. Don't worry about the $20 price tag. They will convert into about $60 to $80, given the condition is so good. And I've also found another ASICS Gel Keanu, guys. Are you kidding? Three pairs of ASICs in excellent condition, all at an average price of $15. It's my lucky day. And I've also found these as well. We've got the New Balance 574s in the green colorway, which I actually haven't seen too much of before. I'll whack these in the washing machine and give them a bit of a clean. For 10 bucks, not too bad there. So guys, four pairs of shoes in the one store. That was absolute heaven. CDs and DVDs, five for $2, guys. I've paid $4 for the complete series of One Tree Hill. That right there turns into 50 bucks. What a run that was. Well, guys, we have the Instagram viewer poll question in there around the Kathmandu zip-up jacket. And uh, I reckon I can get about 50 bucks for it. Very similar to the Tommy Bahamas sweater that we saw earlier on. But this time, it was just a few dollars less at 20 bucks. So I had a look at the e-profit calculator. I believe I can make anywhere between 15 to $20 in profit if I can sell it for $50. You guys said to go ahead and take it on this occasion. And uh, I've ended up agreeing with you. I have gone ahead and picked it up. So I've got it here with me. Um, should go into a, a relatively quick 15 to 20 as well, given the fact we're coming into winter. Um, so yeah, that was a cool little grab. Let's, uh, let's keep charging on. Good day so far. Last run of the day, guys, and I'm always opening up the cupboards for a bit of a look see and I've been able to find this calculator. Now, if you don't know about calculators, guys, have a look at the price point at the bottom one there. Unfortunately, I've got the top one at $25, but definitely keep an eye. There is some good money in the category. Uh, I found some uh, PlayStation 4 games here. I've done a bit of a dig and Need for Speed World, and that was the only one that was going to be a value, but for six bucks, I left it. These shoes, they were a good one as well. Pretty good condition. $8 price point is what made me commit to the purchase there. Hopefully, they turn into $40. Uh, Wire in the Blood as well. Seasons 1, 2, and 3. For $8, the best I could get on that was $25, so I left it. But this Audrey Hepburn uh, DVD set, that goes for about 50 bucks. So I've gone ahead and I've made the purchase there on that. It was only the $10. Um, there was also a pair of boots that I wanted to show you guys. We found Rossi earlier in the video. This is another one that I want to talk to you about. The brand is Magnum. And it actually goes on to sell really well. There were comps for this shoe anywhere between, well, to be honest, $60 to $100. So given the condition of these, I think I should be able to get that. Not a bad run.
So guys, if we crunch the numbers, we've been able to pick up 32 listings for my eBay store today. I've spent $224. That works out to an average cost of good of just seven bucks, which I'm pretty excited about. Remember, a huge congratulations to Emma for winning the Nike Air Max ones. They'll be out to you pretty soon. And remember guys, we've got the Brooklyn jersey, the KD Brooklyn jersey. All you need to do is comment the word Brooklyn, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. Pretty simple stuff. Thank you very much for your support, guys. Remember, I do have a playlist for every single one of these trips to the thrift US series videos on my channel right now and I'm going to link you up with last week's episode if you missed it. My 30% clutters that are here to the end, you guys are the absolute best. Appreciate your support guys. We'll see you soon.